the African Center for Media and Information Literacy, AfricMail, on Tuesday, May 8, 2018, extended its whistleblowing awareness campaign to the Southwest Zone. The town hall meeting, which held in Lagos, was part of activities under the Corruption Anonymous Project, supported by the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, which is aimed at sensitizing the public about the whistleblower policy of the Nigerian government launched in December 2016. Coming on the heels of two successful town hall meetings in Kano Northwest and Oweri Southeast, the Lagos Town Hall meeting with the theme Whistleblowing and the Fight Against Corruption focused on creating awareness and building public confidence in the whistleblowing policy. In his welcome speech, Chido Onuma, coordinator of Africa Mill, emphasized the need for Nigerians to take ownership of the anti-corruption fight in order to do away with the negative effects of corruption. He noted that corruption is so endemic that it cannot be left for the government alone to tackle. Our goal is to have a citizenry that is sensitive to its role in tackling the menace of corruption. As Nigerians, we have to be aware that the fight against corruption is not going to be left for the government alone. We all have roles to play, and this is what the whistleblowing policy seeks to ensure. However, whistleblowing as an instrument for tackling corruption can only survive where the safety of the whistleblower is guaranteed. While we call on all Nigerians to play their patriotic role in blowing the whistle of corruption, we hope those responsible for the policy will benefit from the discussion here today to strengthen the policy framework, the integrity of the process, and the safety of whistleblowers. Akin Fadei, founder of Akin Fadei Foundation, said the fact that many Nigerians are culprits had increasingly made the anti graft war difficult. President Muhammad Bukhari asked the Prime Minister of Integrity. But there are so many the media tells us surrounding the president that are working at cross purposes with him. How does ICPC start investigating the case? and they start getting close to the wheel of progress that is actually from government and we still want to pull that case through. But what to Raphael, who represented the DG of National Orientation Agency, noted that the general value system of every Nigerian must change if we want to win the fight against corruption. Now, the talk of corruption is a talk of a low value system. How the system has been passed to that? Because of our low value system, our attitudes are not in direction of our Kabiru Elelu, who represented the acting chairman of the ICPC, said the commission had put in place measures to encourage whistleblowers to submit tips while assuring whistleblowers of protection. He noted that the commission had embarked on vigorous sensitization efforts to reach every sector of the society, including students and youth with the anti-corruption message. Not obliged to reveal the identity of such people until the investigation is complete. Because the investigation is complete, the suspects will be released from prison. Because we have the investigation complete, the suspects will be released from prison. Because we have the investigation complete, the suspects will be released from said the whistleblower initiative must be extended beyond its current priority area, which is the civil service. It's not, a, it's not enough for us to just rest uh, or eat on funds recovered uh, by, that have been stolen or voluntarily that have been returned. But a lot of funds go through this means, like not having proper uh, procedures for procurement. All of that is almost part of what the whistleblower is supposed to be addressing. So I think the, the need to look beyond where it, it is now. Shino Odubemi, who represented the executive director of Hida Resource Center, noted that the whistleblower policy provided a veritable opportunity for citizens to key into the fight against corruption. He said the policy will complement the Freedom of Information Act. The whistleblower policy is not new. That to where we are, we are all born, we were trained to do whistleblower. So, but as it is today, um, the current government is deploying the instrument of whistleblowing to fight corruption. That's what we need to face square.
Chairman Issa, who represented the Director of Presidential Initiative on Continuous Audit, Pika, said the policy had aided the government in recovering monies stolen by corrupt individuals. He noted that such funds are used in carrying out priority projects. It's a strategy employed by this government to see that at least enough things are in the kingdom to cover any stolen people uh, assets and uh, gain assets that were outside the government. Joseph Akeju, a whistleblower who was sacked from his job at the Yaba College of Technology for seven years, shared his experience. He noted that whistleblowing is a challenging and dangerous enterprise. While I was doing the, this work, I was dismissed. But when, when for seven and a half years, my family went into distress, myself and my family. Through the grace of God, after seven years, I was reinstated by uh, the present government to when uh, the, uh, the head of state Mohammed uh, uh, came. That's when I was reinstated. But when I came back, what I met is even worse than what I, I was fighting. <laughs> <laughs> and as people know me, I can't keep quiet. I find it difficult to keep quiet. And, and I was dismissed the second time. Place to the time I was to retire. On that, on that, the present one. So these are really the issues. When you see staff, those those people that are that we need to address are ourselves. The accountants, they are criminals. The lawyers, we are they are criminals. The town hall meeting had in attendance representatives of different civil society organizations government agencies and the media. Participants agreed that the whistleblower policy was an important addition to the fight against corruption, but emphasized the need to protect whistleblowers. Now you are saying informant. If I have those kind of information and I give it out, on the way out and you said this information are not wrong, they arrest me. How do I go to give more information on such characters? as we are fighting for us. All these uh, monies that have been recovered, <laughs> what is the penalty of the voters? Or we just recover and leave them, and they continue to loot? What is the penalty? The 2.5% that has to be given to whistleblowers. I mentioned it there, uh, and it's an advocacy that I have been making personally that is and it's a financial incentive, and I consider it a moral incentive. How do you, what do you pay the person who screams on the lecturer who is sexually assaulting students? What are you going to give? What are you going to give to, to the person who oppresses a colleague and does not allow, allow the person to rise through the ranks? How do you measure that percentage to the person? So for me, I would advocate in the interim, it works for government because it's a revenue drive and we're recovering funds. But in the long term, I do not see it working for society because what you're saying is that there's nothing unique for me financially. And I actually rather keep quiet. 